In this video, we're going to take a look at the major features of the Docker Cloud platform, the fastest and simplest way to get Docker into production in the cloud. Now, the first time you log into cloud.docker.com, you're going to be met by the Welcome Tour, which actually is a really simple and helpful workflow to get you up and running with the basics. And the first option we can see here is link a cloud provider, which highlights an important point. Docker Cloud does not provide hosting services. So, no, Docker has not become a cloud hosting provider, meaning all of the nodes, containers and applications that you deploy through Docker Cloud have to be hosted somewhere else, like maybe a public cloud provider. So if we click Add a Provider, we see the list of cloud providers that are currently supported. And adding, let's say, Microsoft Azure, all we do, we download our Docker Cloud Management Certificate, we pop over to Azure, I'm in the classic portal here, and that's down here, Settings, Management Certificates, and then the Upload button. Find it. And we're good. Then, let's grab this subscription ID, pop back to Docker Cloud, paste it in, and save. And that's it. Docker Cloud is now linked to our Azure account. After that, these top level tabs here outline the rest of the major components of Docker Cloud. Nodes are basically Docker hosts. Like we saw with the cloud providers supported, they can obviously be cloud based VMs or physical machines, but they can just as easily be your own VMs or physicals on prem in your own data center. So just think Linux hosts that have the Docker Cloud agent installed on them. But, each time you deploy a node, it actually gets deployed into a node cluster, which is a grouping of similar nodes, so maybe nodes from the same region and the same cloud provider, or something like that. But the beauty of a node cluster is that it can easily be scaled up or down by adding and removing nodes to it, and Docker Cloud provides a slider bar that lets you do that really easily. Then there's services. While nodes are about Docker hosts, Services are about containers, and again, containers within a single service are containers with a similar type, so from the same image. And yes, again, Docker Cloud lets you easily scale them just as it does with nodes in a node cluster. But it's worth pointing out, containers in the same service do not have to be on the same node or even in the same node cluster. They can span multiple nodes and multiple node clusters. Then there's stacks. These are collections of services that form together to make up our app. So, we've got nodes and node clusters. That's where we run our Docker engine daemons. On top of those, we layer services, which are groupings of similar containers. Then from those, we create stacks, effectively our applications. And last but not least, there's repositories. And here are some of mine. There's obviously native support for Docker Hub, plus compatible third-party registries. Now I know we've just scratched the surface here. Well, in the next two videos, we're going to explore further into stacks and services by deploying and scaling a stack and then seeing how blue-green builds work with Docker Cloud. So, yep, that's a really quick introduction to Docker Cloud, the fastest and simplest way to get Docker into production in the cloud. But be sure to watch the next two videos to find out more.